How you doing? This is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I'm going to give you guys a little uh, how-to guide on how to start mining uh, quirk quirks or quirk coins. Um, other people know them as uh, bitcoins. Uh, what quirks are is just an alternative bitcoin. Um, it's one of the easiest kind of alternate bitcoins to mine and that's what's really neat about it. You don't really need very much kind of any special hardware, just a computer. Um, can be a PC or a Mac. And the faster your PC, the more uh, Quirk coins you're going to mine, the faster. So let's just get in right into it. Um, so here I'm in Review Outlaw and how to mine uh, Quirk coins. So you can just actually go to ReviewOutlaw.com. It's the first link here. And so we're going to just walk you step by step through it. First, you're going to need something called a wallet. Uh, just like a normal wallet, that's where you're going to keep your coins. So to get that, you can just either click right on um, the link here and download it right from uh, the, the Quark site here or you can just click a direct link. So you're going to download that um, then you're going to install it. I've already installed it on my computer. So once it's installed it's going to look just like this and you're going to see balance zero um, and right now it's just going to say zero. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start receiving some coins. So you're going to click receive. Here you might have just a, a blank label here but then a, a weird looking address. What you can do is you're going to right click on that and you're going to click copy address. Okay, And this is just going to be blank. You can rename that um, if you want. But So that's step one. Here's the, the address to receive coins into is what we're copying. Next we need uh, something called a miner tool. The easiest one that I've found is the simple Quark GUI miner here. So all you can do is download that, and uh, it might come up as uh, being dangerous because it's uh, not a very common file to use. You can click Keep. Now, if you see here, it says uh, Failed Download Error. It's probably because my Norton has picked up as a virus. So again, it's not a very common file to use. Uh, what I recommend is disabling Norton for about 15 minutes or McAfee or Malwarebytes, whatever you have, and then re-download it. Again, Google Chrome thinks it's unsafe. We're going to keep it. Now we can install it here. So Windows also is not a very popular app, so we can go ahead and run this anyway. Now it's asking me where to install. We'll leave all this default. Need that, that needs to be default to, uh, to run properly. I'm going to click Next. And I've already installed it, so we're going to overwrite all the files. And it's because it's running in the background right now, it's coming up with cannot open files, but I'm just going to continue and, and override them. So this is the, the GUI here. What we have is the program we're going to run. This is the program we're going to run to mine. All you really need to care about is this um, address here. You want to put in your address. So you're going to basically go back to the wallet, which should probably be minimized now. And again, we copy the address. And then we just control V or just paste that in and it should be your new address. Don't change any of the other stuff, the minus U and any of the minus P. It's only going to be this part right here. If you mess around with any of this other stuff, it's not going to work. So just this Q to the Y, that's the part you're going to want to change. Um, these other settings here, that's up to you. If you want to see that how the program works, you unclick Start Invisible and you can hit Start Process here. And as you can see, this is actually working right now. It's using your CPUs. And if we hit I'll Control Delete, look at our task manager, we can see it's using 100% of the CPU, which is good. That's it's getting the most it, it can get out of it. So now it's my hash rate, and the higher the numbers, the more coins it's going to mine. So if you want to make it invisible, you just click Invisible. Uh, personally, I prefer only when it's going to be idle. So if you walked away from the computer, it's going to start mining. You come back, it's going to stop mining. So we hit start on this, and we can just verify that you know everything's running good by just looking at task manager. Now I might have you can uh, if it's already running, you can just end the task, and then that's how you end the task. Um, just a task manager. Sometimes this end process doesn't work right. Um, so that that's basically it. After about a half an hour to an hour you should go into your wallet here and you should start seeing some 
deposits transactions and um, you know the green check mark boxes showed the little small transactions um, about one quark right now is about uh, 11 cents that was up to 26 cents and, you know in the future it could rise up much more to give you a little bit quick uh, math here is if you if you basically mine um, about a thousand quarks it, you know if, if that thousand um, if the money goes up from 11 cents up to like a dollar you're going to basically be um, multiplying that by 10 so you're gonna have a lot of money <laughs> I'm not exactly sure on the math you should put in calculator and I'll, I'll do some on the website but it's it's definitely something that you should start mining and uh, just why it's really not costing you anything it's just gonna run in the background um, and really only use your CPU cycles uh, when you're when you're not using it, so this is the easiest one to get into to mining. There's some other light coins and feather coins, millions of them practically, but this is the easiest one I've found, and this is what I'd recommend uh, trying to do. So if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know. Uh, just write down any comments you have, questions on the bottom, and I'll try try to answer them. And uh, if you like this tutorial, please send me a uh, couple of your earned quark coins here you can donate them to this address just copy the address and you open up your wallet here and you're gonna go to send you put in my address and send me a quark or two if you can spare them so if not uh, once you get a, a couple quarks you can look online you can trade those in for bitcoins and you can actually spend them on things it's super you know start googling but I think the, the most important thing is to start earning money and start getting into your wallet and uh, what you do with that money later on is fine but the longer you wait on um, on mining it's, it's just less coins you're gonna have because over time it gets harder and harder to earn coins so that should be about it um, Oh, also, the, the last thing is, if you once your antivirus comes back online, it's probably going to be mad at you. So what I'd do is go into exclude the Quark folder, C Quark, um, from scans, and also ex exclude it from auto protect. That way, it just doesn't keep popping up with error messages and all, and things like that. So let me know if you have any other questions, but that should be good for now.